Hamilton County Cop Watcher here once again. Thank you again for tuning in. So I actually came across this stop as I was driving on US 31 South, a divided highway. There is a little, I guess you would call it access road that runs on the other side of where I'm standing behind me. So I got off the highway and drove back there so that I could get a good clear view of what was going on at this stop. Now what you're going to see is this is a black male probably late 20s early 30s and he has two children with him who are preteen age now later in this video i actually interview the gentleman i want you to keep in mind our location as i previously mentioned us 31 is a divided highway the part in which the stop takes place is actually not close to any restaurants or gas stations or means of transportation this gentleman has two children with him, one of whom is not feeling well. And remember that the temperatures that day in Indianapolis were approximately 80 degrees. What becomes appalling to me during this situation is that the police who have three functioning vehicles there with I'm sure running air conditioning and very little crime to take care of in Carmel, strand this man and these two children along this divided highway near nothing but business parks. Another interesting thing you're going to witness here in this video is that after the police send the gentleman and the two young boys across the road, they begin to search the vehicle. You're going to hear me confirm with the gentleman a couple of times that he did not give them permission to search the vehicle, and I think that's of questionable legality.
can you guys talk for a second? Are you all done with them? Are you all done with them? Yeah. Can you tell, I actually am doing a cop watching program. I come here and I film stops. Right. And then I um, send them to reporters in the area and I post to YouTube and so on. Can you tell me what happened? All right, I mean. Is it okay if your face is on camera? Sure, it's fine. Okay. I mean, I was just driving. I was trying to take them to go eat. Are these your kids? Uh, yeah, they're my friend's kids. Oh, okay. And, uh, I was trying to exit 125. So I was just trying to pass because he was going too slow. So I was just like trying to move faster because you know you have to go. Yeah, to merge. Speed up to, to overtake to the other lane, yeah, so mm -hmm. that's what I did here, is to charge me for speeding and all that stuff. What's going on with the car? Um, the, the thing got expired, I think the registration, mm -hmm. my friend didn't tell me, so it's like the car is about to be towed and all that stuff, so Okay. that we had to get out. Was it kind of scary having all these officers show up for one stop? It is, it is. He was like, do they have driving license? I said, those are kids, these are like 12, 11 years old. I'm not, I don't know. Well, I don't know what he's doing right now. Maybe yeah, probably taking it to an impound lot or something. Sorry, I know you guys have things to do. My friend is about to come pick us up, so they want they they need the car to get registered before you know we can actually take it out. Mm -hmm. Seems as though they might be searching your vehicle now. Yeah, I mean they're searching my vehicle now. But you didn't give them permission I didn't to do give that. Them permission to search my vehicle. But it looks like that's what they're taking it upon themselves to do. So uh, when you were pulled over. What was the reason for bringing these other officers? Did you ask for a supervisor or anything? No. Okay. I was a little surprised, like, is it because of the kids that you said, like, I don't know. Why are they searching the car? That's what I don't understand. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense because, I mean, just an expired registration, you said, was right, the reason. That's so. it, right? Why are you. Why are you Well, I will make sure to film them because it looks like he's checking the back seats and so on. And you're stating that on the record you did not give him permission. I, I did not give him permission. Okay. Your friend, you said, is on the way to get you. You guys don't need a ride or anything. We live at Westview. Okay. Oh, we, whatever, we can wait for something. Can you a car like this? No, they're, uh, typically they need permission to do that. I didn't give them no permission, so. That's very interesting. It's not even a car, but I don't give them no permission to do that. Yes, I mean, you're still entitled to your rights, you know, regardless of if you had a an expired, excuse me, expired registration. That's very ridiculous then to be searching your car and you did not give them permission. And did they ever ask for permission? No. No. They didn't be like, oh, we're going to search the car and stuff like that. Why are you gotcha. searching the car? Oh, I can't. I like. I want to go grab myself. You oh, can't go back in the car. Like, making shit look so hot. Like, yeah. fine, it's registration. She's about to go do it. Mm hmm Searching my car. They don't. They don't. The way you sign, they don't even like me. Like I know they don't like me. Why do you say that? Like the way he was acting with me and stuff like that. I've been in the same situation with one of my white friends. Mm -hmm. And they just give me one and then don't bring this car, don't drive this car, and they let him go. Was it here in Carmel? Yes, right on, on, on 96th Street. Mm -hmm. Right there. So you do feel that there's a difference in the way there's people are treated? There's a difference. I was still telling them, like, the, the mud the is not feeling too well, and I'm just taking them to go eat. Like, you know, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. There's no, like, buses. Buses don't run on, like, New York and mm -hmm. New Jersey, where you got a lot of bus transportation. You know, you use the bus or something, but you don't have that out yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. I am sorry for the way you were treated, though. You said the way he spoke to you and so on. Yeah, what? How so? It was just rude. Like, was it? I was trying to say, oh, uh, I think, do, do they have do they have driving license? I'm like, don't you see the kids? Yeah, they they look like children. Yeah, I assumed yeah, right away they were about twelve or thirteen. Don't you yeah. see the kids? Why are you asking them if they got driving license? They don't even they're not even old enough to have IDs. No. I am so sorry that happened. Do you know how long your friend will be? I only really have one clear seat in the car, so I'm like, uh, I can't pile three people in it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we we'll just wait. She probably just another 15, 20 15, 20 minutes. minutes. Okay, as long as it's only going to be that long. Do you guys need anything? Any water or food or anything? <laughs> We're going to be right there. When You'll be right there? You can, you can come around when you're done. Okay, yeah, I'll bring you guys some food. You're welcome. I'll see you in just a few minutes. So as soon as I cut the camera off, I did go ahead and run to McDonald's a couple miles away and get these guys something to eat. When I got back, they told me that their ride was going to be taking a little bit longer, but that they were okay to wait while I was trying to clear my back seat out and make some room to go ahead and give them a ride myself. A gentleman who worked at the office park was very gracious and kind and offered to give them a ride home to Westfield. 
so they did make it safely back home again.